Like Anastasia, my mama was my best friend, and there was so much I needed to update her on, but in person. Wow! I thought I was going to have to come over to that fine-ass man's house to see you. She smiled, opening the door. We embraced as I chuckled with the roll of my eyes. You gonna get enough of trying to get you a younger boo. I sat down on the couch as she locked the door behind me. I am just kidding, but I do know if I was young like you, I would have been pregnant by now. Ma, I screeched. Hell, when I met your daddy, I knew I had something good. Once we were married, I got pregnant with Stasi only six months later. She shot me a look. So you trapped my daddy? I giggled. I mean, I guess. But he wanted to be trapped. He did. I'm pretty sure you probably trapped one another. I reminisced, thinking about how smitten my dad was with my mom. I used to think all men were like that until Anastasia got with Cedric. It was a huge eye-opener for me to see that just because a man said he loved you didn't mean he would act like it. While Jario wasn't the best man ever, he was far better than Cedric. I think. It worked out, so it's fine for me. She paused the show she was watching. How have you been? You look more relaxed than usual. I do? I perked up. Yes? She nodded. You usually look so stressed out and downtrodden when I see you. Now, it's like a weight has been lifted. Hearing that was bittersweet for me. I was glad that I looked lighter, but at the same time, I wondered how long I'd look like that while with Jario. To think the man I'd planned my future with had me out here appearing stressed the fuck out was crazy. Well... Things have changed in my life. As you already knew, I got that nanny position, and the pay is amazing, so my money troubles have pretty much vanished. But, I paused. Jario and I broke up. Ah! She gasped, 